All right, thank you so much here. We are still looking at uh, COVID-19, analyzing government's efforts in combating uh, the pandemic. And uh, we have uh, the uh, deputy, uh, over the deputy director of uh, the National Orientation Agency, Noah in Edo State. And of course, uh, he's uh, overseeing uh, the NOA as it is now. Uh, Mr. Austin Odile. So you welcome to this program this morning. Yeah, good morning, my brother. Yeah, it's, we have it's good also to have me on program and good yeah. morning. You're welcome. Our viewers. You're welcome. Uh, we have Mr. Patrick Eholo, a frontline a social crusader, human rights activist, and of course the founder of One Love Foundation. So you welcome to this program this morning. Good morning. Good morning. <coughs> now let's just quickly take a run and see the effort so far, you know, by uh, the Nigerian government. So we're told in first place that uh, a total sum of about uh, 15 billion naira, you know, was uh, has been released, and of which 10 billion naira went to Lagos State uh, to kind of uh, create uh, uh, a stimulus package for those affected by the COVID-19. And also, a presidential tax force was also set up, and of which uh, state governors were mandated uh, to make sure that uh, uh, they nominate uh, doctors, and nurses from each state to be part of that presidential tax force uh, team. Then also, we're also told that uh, the trader money issue, uh, the payback on trader money. Now, the trader money was an intervention, a social intervention a measure that uh, we all know about. <laughs> and uh, before now, uh, beneficiaries were paying some amounts, you know, uh, you know, periodically as uh, a so kind of, a, of servicing it. But as it stands now, the federal government has suspended that. So all these are measures uh, to kind of uh, create a cushioning effect on the populace, on Nigerians, as uh, the COVID-19 issue goes on. Uh, gentlemen, le let's look at all this one more time. Now, uh, I think in the right direction, considering uh, the emergency of the time, one would say that the, the, the government is moving in the right direction. Mr. Austin Odinle. Yeah, uh, perfectly so. Uh, you see, there is no human perfection. Uh, the government has taken you know, this step to ensure that at least uh, the country is not emasculated like um, other even civilized or developed clients have. Uh, you see, the problem with us Nigerians is that we are quick to judge, we are very judgmental. Uh, it was like, oh, government is not doing anything. Our uh, government, our uh, tires have gone to sleep in the face of this uh, pandemic and that they are, they, are, they, are, they are building a queen when uh, the house is on fire. But eventually the president has spoken. He spoke to us, he spoke to Nigerians, at least to me. I think it was a, a wake-up call. Like they say in my community, it is when you wake up, that is your money. Uh, so he has spoken, he has reeled out, you know, the efforts so far made by government, and then the palliative, the stimulus that, that, that has been released. What I expected Nigerians to do, instead of, first of all, criticizing, to say, oh, the, 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 the speech, the address is empty, there is nothing there, uh, let us tell the line of, uh, Christ, because at least this side, at least even if you are mixed, but then the Bible tells us, Jesus Christ said those uh, that uh, he is going to judge, uh, judge you not by the bad things you have done, but by the good things you have done. Mm. So, but here we turn it the other way around. We want to first of all look at the evil, the bad things, or what we think you ought to have done and for us to judge you. That is not, that is not right, that is not appropriate. One, at least the quick measures have been put in place. Uh, the, the, the setting up of the presidential tax force, like you have rightly mentioned, and then all the other facilities that have been put in place. We are receiving donations that the government has released money. Isolation centers have been set up. And then there is a daily briefing mm. on, 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 on the crisis, on, on this, uh, the, the pandemic, daily by the Honorable Minister for Health and his counterparts uh, in the uh, Nigerian Center for Disease Control. So all these, at least, to our left here, to say, oh, we are at least, even if we are not on top of the situation, Tommy, I think we are on top of the situation. I want to say the situation is under control. So my appeal to Nigerians is to do their bit, at least, because why Italy, Spain, and even the US, you know, were overwhelmed was because of disobedience to lawful orders that isolate yourself, stay indoors to break the chain because it's a chain. Once the chain is broken, then definitely effectively the, 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 the infection will at least will be halted. Mm. But then it was like, oh, nothing is happening. You know, the typical Nigerian style, like it is happening now. 
Because right here, for example, if we do our bit, even before this crisis got to this stage, prices of goods have escalated, have, have skyrocketed. When you ask, they say, oh, nothing is coming in from China. Why will, for example, what is happening in China affect our lifestyle uh, here in, in, in Benin, for example, in Nigeria? Now, price <coughs> of food stuff escalated. Yeah. That is not the fault of the federal government. That is not the fault of state government. But it is the fault of you and I. Okay, because let me pull. Yeah, yeah. I'll come to you much more later so that we even get to know what uh, your own agency is doing, the National Orientation Agency, as it relates to the uh, COVID-19. Patrick Hollow, you welcome one more time. Okay. Now, you had a social crusader here, uh, you know, considering the fact that uh, this is an emergency situation. You know, uh, in line with uh, government's efforts, uh, uh, what's your take on all this? Well, you know, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> it's really difficult, you know, because uh, uh, first of all, uh, we all have opinions and we have right to our opinions, you know. But when I see uh, respectable brothers like this uh, trying to defend government at this time, I know it's not a blaming time, it's sad in my heart because we have to speak truth to power we have to tell people how it is you know the government is so weak they didn't come back on time the students are not complaining it's sad in my heart again to think that we are complaining you have told people to be confined in their various houses to respect we did it i saw a woman yesterday in social media i cried my beloved country she said we are here the ordinary thing the government would do to even talk to the bdc or to the depa people whatever name you call them we are in darkness. In darkness. In darkness. And you are saying the government did what? Did for us? We shouldn't complain. We have every right to complain. They're supposed to be our parents. We should speak truth to power. We should at least learn how not to defend these people again. Their immoralities. It's affecting us, every one of us. Because we have children, we are going to live here. We are already. Uh, doing us, we don't know when God is going to call us. Let's speak truth to them. God, the more we come to defend them, the more they're going to think what they are doing is right. I have been on this social crusade for more than 25 years, and most of the things I am saying or have been saying have come to pass, and that's why we are where we are today. So we need to tell them the truth. What have they really done for us? I am happy that I have dual citizenship. My government in Canada have approached us now that we who are not in Canada presently, who is going through this epidemic. We should apply for $5,000. $5,000. We're not even in Canada. We yeah, are outside Canada. Now, they are coming there, yeah, please. Yeah. Because we have a lot of money. Mm. We have money. Could they fly out now to go and treat themselves in Dubai or in, or, or in America or London? It affects every one of us. So we've been defending them unnecessarily. What have they done for us? They are uh, saying, sit at home, first of all, they could even talk to M MTN, for example, to give us free calls. They could even talk to uh, uh, the other company who provide you your satellite uh, cable at home to give us free to watch it at least for now for all of us to share it. And now you also now see us again are not patriotic citizens. A bag of rice that was supposed to be 16,000 is now 38,000 because every man is for his own in this country. Everybody is for himself in this country. Let the truth be told, whether it's the state or the federal. They've denied their citizens. Yeah, Patrick Hollow, you made mention of the Canadian government. I'm happy you said that, you know, uh, uh, some people will also say that uh, that uh, uh, stimulus uh, package by the Canadian uh, government is also a far cry uh, considering their own uh, uh, circumstance. I mean, $5,000 in an average of within two months. Some of that's a, a I'm bit talking small. about we outside the country. I'm not in Canada, I'm in Nigeria. Do you have any plans for your citizens in South Africa or in Ghana? No, you don't. You don't. I'm talking about I am not in Canada. They offer me 5000 And when I say that's not enough for me, my tax will be deducted. I'll be credited back again when I file my income tax when I turn back to Canada. And Americans have released $6 trillion. And you're going to say that's the Western world. When are we going to be that Western world? And in this same period of time, the members of House of Assembly and Senate they were sharing cars that were given to them. Is that yeah, but, but, they just, but they just suspended, some have suspended their yeah, salaries but, but, for yeah, but, but, months, but, but was that a time to receive times. any gratification, whether you like it or not? Was that, is that an appropriate time to do that? Is that an appropriate time to do that? And again, talking about the president, America is going through their crisis. Italy is going through their crisis. You see them on TV every second, talking to their citizen. Buhari is not a doctor. But hope is very encouraging. 
You are writing something with that is not even coming from your heart and telling us to read it in the in the newspaper. When last did you see him address us? Yeah, we saw him about two days ago. Oh, that's very good. That's um, I mean, your president has also addressed his, his country in the time of crisis, in the time of crisis, whenever he feels like. So, if your children have are having pains, you address them when you feel like. Okay, I leave that to you. Okay. Now, uh, Austin Odile, I said I was going to ask you what. Uh, uh, please, can I just make a clarification? Uh, you can, but uh, in uh, addition, yeah, no, no, to no, that, no, no, no. Yeah. I, I am I'm coming because one, uh, you see. When we on are on a platform like this, mm. we should speak truth, yeah. at least because uh, you know our people out there they say information is power. Whatever information is put out from the media, for example, mm. is taken. But again, it's everybody's it. entitled yes. to say, "Yeah, I know, I know." Yeah. I know. Yeah. But like he said, American government released six trillion dollars. Mm. It's two point two trillion dollars. No, no, it's six. So I can, I can, history, I can break it down for you. That is, is two point yeah. two. But that even that's a lot of money. Even one trillion dollars. No, I know. That is even one trillion. But I can break that. That, that, that yeah. is six trillion. Then, then what is happening? What, what has happened? The five thousand dollars the Canadian government is releasing to its citizens, they kind of it's because one they have a let me say a near perfect social welfare scheme in place, yeah. and that is what this government, this regime of President Muhammadu Buhari, has started by initiating this end power and this conditional cash transfer which is targeted at the very poor the most vulnerable yeah, talking society. about the conditional you understand uh, you say you need you, 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 uh, yes you uh, need uh, to uh, start uh, you uh, need uh, to start from yeah. somewhere mm. and when you do something like i said at least you should be appreciated one yeah just, even just christ be, uh, listen yeah. even christ mm. said that those who are well does not need the services of a physician it is those who are sick all right now and beautiful that, there's no doubt that the government is trying to uh, create some physical <laughs> some fiscal and monetary measures you talked about the car transfer measure now the question that people are asking why now no the condition look the conditional cash transfer that he made allusion to it in his address no it is just starting now what he has said is that those who are receiving they are going to receive two months in advance in addition that is instead of one month two months the conditional cash transfer did not start today yeah what about the trader money that the trader money has been on what he said is that the, the moratorium the period of repayment, repayment. is suspended, suspended yeah. you understand yeah. that is what he said mm. is 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 you just like the cbn for example yeah, has but what come. Say, they have what crashed he, listen yeah, the cbn for example has yeah. come at equally with its own intervention yeah you understand to yeah. say okay uh, interest rate for example has been reduced has been brought down yeah. you know the question people are asking is how many people are borrowing money from the banks but the thing is you discover that when one finger touches oil it drops off on the others if i borrow money from the bank for example i have a family mm. i have people who are dependent on me i have friends you understand no matter what i do take us down so it's like the rate that is falling on all the roofs so it's not a question of it is just you know is 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 isolation is an isolation is uh, just targeted at a, at a few you see nigeria has the problem we have in this country is the actual demographic whatever population we are banding for example is just speculative we are 150 we are 170 we are 200 million uh, look if you if we really ask ourselves are we up to this number are you trying to say that the government is, is not aware of our of our population record? no 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 i'm not I, that is not what i'm saying because if you ask look it's okay now whatever the government is doing you know it's targeted at between 118 and 200 million mm -hmm. but then me i'm telling you that the last population census we had in this country was uh 2006 yeah and it was all to have been done 10 years later you know till now there has not been another one as at that time we have, how how many were we so About what is a hundred plus uh, so you, you, you plus, understand yeah. so that is what i say when people just say just bandy and bandy figures are not there to say money 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 look whatever the government is doing there are plans we have the federal bureau of statistics for example that goes to even the, the smallest of villages to gather statistics and all the rest you understand of the actual and this is what the government is working towards okay so when you say palliatives and all the, rest, the stimulus trader money conditional cash transfer is a gradual process look what i always advocate for is building <coughs> strong institutions. this is an institution that is coming up rome was not built in a day look this nation uh, had this independence in 1960. if successive governments or regimes for example have actually done the actual you know and then put on check on their toes by the people because the corporate on all of this is you and i because what we know how to do best is just to complain to talk no constructive criticism we don't prefer solutions we just keep blames right, and blames and blames yeah, we're even yeah. making comparisons now for example yeah. why is it that look it is 
now that we are making comparison with other countries. During elections, for example, a lot of people don't want to say, oh, you have clean elections here in Ghana. Yeah, but yeah, here, for yeah, example, we, we are you making cannot comparison have comparison because we why, have, so? we've not no, had time before this time to comparisons make comparisons. Come. Now comparisons question, must come. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. But when you are doing it, at least you must situate them in their correct perspective. Yeah, Mr. That Adele, is the, question, yeah, the question that people are asking is that this uh, stimulus packages and all that, this relief packages, how come it is now? I mean, unlike some other government in some other climes whereby it appears it's just there. One, they, they go through emergency, government goes into actions and all that. So for our own, if it, it seems that the government really does not have a structured uh, plan, so to say. That seems to be the implication of what people are, of what no, is going you see, on. You see, like I say, people are getting it all wrong. I corrected this just now. That these packages were not initiated now. Trader money has been on. Conditional cash transfer has been on. Mm. Not even last year. Mm. You understand? So it's just like saying, oh, this, this, this we have put in place. These are what we are going to do further to cushion the effects to those who enjoy the facility. I agree with what people are saying that it should touch on every citizen. You understand? Like people are saying there are 40, uh, 40 million Nigerians who have uh, uh, BVN, you know, leaked to their accounts and that government should do something. You know, maybe arising from the call of a former vice president that 10,000 naira should be, uh, you know, paid to every Nigerian. The question is this. If, okay, like, they say 40 million Nigerians have this, that is just a fraction of the population. Mm. What of those, for example, who don't have, <coughs> who, don't, who don't have these facilities to yeah, enjoy? Yeah. How do they get their money? Okay, and that is where you. this conditional cash transfer, for example, is those group of persons that this conditional cash transfer oh, is targeted. Beautiful. Okay, let me pause you so that I'll let uh, Patrick Hollow respond to some of the issues that uh, you raised. Yeah, Patrick. Well, you know, it's your uh, air time. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure that I turn uh, the end of this program. Mm. You can view it and see if the time given to us were uh, adequate. No, it's okay. It's your well, point that, that matters. Again, 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 really what I'm going, again, again, what I'm going yeah. to say is that as a country, yeah. do we have data? He just said that we say sometimes we are about 180, we are 200, we are 200. Do we have data? Don't you think that in this dispensation that Nigeria needs to know the number of its citizens? If you don't know how many number of children you have, how do you plan for the education? That's again, that's where we find ourselves. And that's what I'm saying. And again, to say that we are misinforming the problem, there's no misinformation here. Do we know the actual number we have in this country? I, I'm, I'm asking now, you are, you are the moderator. Do we know? We don't know. And we, now, when we say we, we are going to reach out to the very poor, we just, we just who are the very let's say, same, let, let him uh, make his point. Yeah, just go on. Just go on. We also say we're going to reach to the very poor. Mm. How do we identify the very poor in a society? And if you are going to reach to the very poor, I'm asking again the government, please, let them provide an answer to these questions. How do you reach to the very poor when you don't know your numbers, we don't have data? You don't even know. We don't have a, a social security number. Yeah, but there's a target at which the government is working. That's what I'm West. saying. Yeah. We have rural, we, okay now. Somebody who is at uh, Gele Gele, for example, or Yokoba, or uh, Usain, and you don't, you did not catch up them in your data. Are you going to knock their door? Are you going to be driving to their house to come and say, Osarobo, here's your ten thousand, uh, Josephine, yes, your is that the plan you have in this millennial year? That's what I'm asking. Let's speak truth to power. There's no need to say Nigerians are complaining. If they were, if they were profound solution for their citizens, no one would be complaining. How, okay, now you have us at home. You told us to. You told your, your son to go inside and sit down. He sat down. You told your son to to get up. He got up. He obeyed your instructions. Now how do you fought your child again? I'm saying that a woman yesterday, even myself, I didn't have light, and you told me to confine myself inside. I have no light, I have no food. How do I survive? Let's be realistic now. We come here, we become more holy than the Pope. We talk about God, this, this, this. God is not building an hospital for us. We will build that hospital ourselves. Even the people in Rome, they are still suffering it. They brought the Bible to us here. We cannot be more holy than the Pope. Let's be realistic to ourselves. It's not personal, it's discussions. We pray that this thing come and go that we learn. We have hospital today. A, a, one government left, the other one came in. Is the hospital affordable? Is the off hospital affordable for me and you? No. Do we have infrastructures? No. 
Do we have schools that we are preparing to have more scientists in the future? No. Look at all what Cuba went through. Today, the Cuba doctors are saving the world. This is what we are saying. They should have a rethink and do it right for their citizens. That's all. Okay. Now, uh, Austin Undile, one way to actually uh, look at government's efforts is to see the role of its agencies. Uh, the National Orientation Agency is one agency of government, and uh, uh, since this COVID-19 whole issue started, people are of the opinion that we are really not seeing them. For example, there seems to be this allegation that we are not seeing and we are not hearing jingles from your own agency, the National Orientation Agency. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know your reactions of that. Uh, thank you very much. Before I just go to that, I want to stay one, make one clear fact that before the commencement of the conditional cash transfer by the federal government, you have uh, the social investment program yeah. domiciled in the office of the governor of every state, mm. and they coordinate. And that before the commencement of the conditional cash transfer, there was a mapping. It was done in over six months in all the communities in the states, getting the list, the data of the very poor, the vulnerable in every community with the cooperation of the traditional rulers and opinion molders in each community. That was how the data was got that is being used by government for this conditional cash transfer. Mm. Now to your question. Uh, as you are aware, the National Orientation Agency is an agency of government put in place, let me say, to popularize its programs and policies and to mobilize, sufficiently mobilize citizens to Certainly. support Certainly. such programs. Yeah. Then, uh, as part of that too, we are to reorientate Nigerians to change their perception, their negative perception from bad to good and from negative to positive. So yeah, the because question every is to Nigeria what has a, You know, the mindset we have in this country mm -hmm. that is a major bit mm -hmm. is the negative mindset we have that nothing can and will ever work. Yeah, but don't you think so, that's a direct is that's a direct implication of uh, what seems to be the fact that maybe you guys are not doing it? No, that is not true. Look, you see, when you're talking of orientation, mm -hmm. uh, it's not it's not it's not a one off thing. It's a process. Look, let me just touch on an issue. We'll be talking on this issue of corruption, for example, as long as I can remember. What the first coup, the very first coup led by Zogu on January 15, 1966, if I remember correctly, what was the kennel? It was corruption. Mm -hmm. And all the successive coup down to the, the Second Republic, uh, the present Republic. Mm -hmm. Now, 20 years of unbroken you know, uh, civilian rule, for example, we are still talking of corruption. corruption. So it's, it's not a thing. It's a thing that is like it, it is. It is even worse than the coronavirus. Yeah, but let's situate. Let's situate so this what we are saying around is, the coronavirus see, issue. Yes. We're now, not getting now we're talking the, of the, 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 the role, yeah, our role, or yeah, what we have done. Yes. Now, at the onset, for example, mm. uh, we went for trainings and then to equip us on the basics, what we need to know about this, and this was cascaded <laughs> down, mm. and we are everywhere you know at least we have the widest reach because we are present in all the local when you say areas. everywhere where exactly are you wait, let me tell you we're not seeing like 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 jingles. like like, like, like one of these the media, media houses i don't there are jingles maybe if it is not running here yeah there are jingles running in all the, i don't want to mention names you know in in some other media but it would houses. have been better you mention names so that people will be aware that can no, tune no, no, in no, 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 no. They, don't, they don't allow they don't allow they don't allow it exactly no, no, you guys well, regulate that too you may not be you cannot do you regulate that too that you cannot it will be unlawful that's, if you do that. No, that, that's my own decision. NBC will not even do that. Uh, but I mean, I'd I, I like so, you to so, promote all that media in uh, so, so that is, that, So, you see what I'm saying? So, but, but so, the so, oh, so, I hope so, you understand the question. The I question, understand. I understand. Yeah. I am coming. Yeah. I am coming gradually. It will start with. Now, we have gone into, we have held stakeholders forum here in Edo. Mm. We have held in uh, the senatorial zones. It has been held in the various local government headquarters. Mm. Now, our local government officers, community orientation and mobilization, and their support staff are in the local, uh, are in their respective communities, spreading the message. Yeah, but that, 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 that is, that is the now. question. When you talk about local, local places now, I remember those days, those good old days in the 80s. At this time, you would have heard the town criers from I am NOA. coming to the, just allow me, land. Yeah, yeah. I am coming now. <laughs> I am coming because we have structures and we work with local, you know, communities. Mm. We use traditional, you know, institutions, for example. There is nowhere, for example, look, on the social media, you see, we have encouraged 
every community. Mm. For example, we have from the, from, from our media media we have we have created now. we have cre we are translated the yeah, message yeah. in local languages yeah. and then it is trending and then we have equally gone around using local town criers mm. and our community to town cry in every community but we, don't we have see. gone to churches we have gone to mocks mm. and then we are doing door to door campaign you know, don't forget that there are hazards too. You need to protect yourself too. We are Mr. going Austin, from. We are I going from. We are going, we are going from. Your door I, to I, I may door understand your everything. predicament. We are a member of the state uh, tax force. Yeah. We are members of the various local government but tax forces. But we don't forces. feel your influence. When that's, you say you don't feel your influence, I don't understand your what you mean. Yeah. Because if you say you don't feel the influence, for example, mm. like one of your media houses came mm. to interview me in the other and say their the, the awareness is not on in a, in a do state. Yeah. And then they went back. Wait, listen. Wait, then. They went ahead to say that when we went around Ring Road and some other places, we saw people wearing masks and hand gloves. And yeah, I asked the question, them, if, if that media house is not there, that media house and then they went ahead to, to say they went Why to... Why didn't you go to uh, the media house? They said they went to some malls, yeah. like this is a village square, and that they did not see national orientation agency. The question I asked them is that, you are here now, are you everywhere? You rove. We don't stay in a particular that you went to that location and no, it's not there. We cannot be stationed there. Yeah, it is Mr. Argument, what, what we are saying, what would I have expected that Noah should be at media organizations, the media platform? You talked about the social media. Yes, yes, yes. Probably, are, look, look let mean, me tell you, I still don't want to mention them. Yeah. There are three media platforms in Edo State, Electronic, that have afforded us their platform to reach out to the people in various languages, calling our phoning programs. What I always say is, you, you have corporate social responsibility. Mm. The role of the media is to, is to educate, entertain, and then to inform. And then, so you have a role to, to say, okay, no, I come. Like, you have invited me now. Yeah. I am here. Yeah. And I know when we come at times, they want to so the first thing is money. Mm. You understand? Mm. And maybe... But we nobody are not... asks you money here. <laughs> I mean, no, you are no, not no, paying no. for this No, now. that's what I say. You have asked me here yeah. now, so which I appreciate. I and mean, when you called yesterday, I appreciate it. I said, look, it's a good one. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But what I'm saying is, I cannot on my own, for example, come. When we come, because we have come in the past, and then we have been made with bills. And of course... Uh, the little but we is, have. Is, I don't suppose to finance. It's not just, federal just government just project. Just no, just no, no. It's, it's, it's the federal government. Little it's we have. You have to pay. Patrick look, Lechiman look, look. The yeah. media, for example, is not cheap. It is yeah. expensive. Yeah. The man who set up this organization, for example, even if he's a philanthropist, for example, this is, this is something that is not is not financial because you need to be paid. You need to pay yourself. Federal government should at least be responsible enough to finance it. Like the federal government, media, whatever, NTA, for example, we are there. You hear our jingles. We are there and all the rest. So that is NTA because it's federal government owned. But we cannot say that of, of, of others, for example, except out of their generosity. They say, come, when we go, we say, oh, please, this is an emergency. And that is why government is supposed to be financing it. You cannot have people like you, they're not financing you. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not saying you know? they're not financing, but okay. look, it could be better. That's why we want, you know, your media, look, for example, you are an organization, for example. You can make a very strong case on behalf of, you know, government organizations or agencies, for example, say, look, government, look, these people are going. You could even come, you only to assist. What do you wrong. think is really the problem that your own organization is having? I, I, is it funds, or what do you think is the problem? Oh, well, well, look, there is no government agency that will say is a uh, hundred percent, you know, uh, funds fund, fund yeah, sufficient. Yeah. yeah, you know the crisis. Nigeria runs a mono economic, uh, mono economy, yeah. and uh, right now the prices of our brand has crashed to $23 dollars a barrel, and, and that is impacting negatively. Uh, of course, but, but even look, when it was on sixty, they were not doing anything. No, that's see, the thing, see, you know. See, see, that's why I said we should be defending even, them. Even when, <coughs> let me tell because you, in order for even when this was on Tuesday, for example, it fluctuates. You understand? Then you need to talk of the production. How many barrels are you producing? For example, does it meet with a quota? Yeah. So, so my dear, like you said. I will, I will not shy away from the fact that at least government we could do better with more money. But the little we have, the government is trying within its available resources. You understand? But what we're saying is every other person, for example, the media, wealthy or wealthy individuals, for example, could do well at least it's okay. Oh, this is a body that needs our assistance. That needs our assistance. You, you, let us let us help. You could help us with leaflets, with flyers, some NGOs, for example, they come, they say, look. Noah, we want to collaborate with you. We want us. This is, uh, we have produced this. Help us because you know you have the means to distribute to, to help let us. Me just, let me just add to we what you that. Now. Yeah. As yeah. I speak now, All right. I have uh, four vehicles in different areas with jingles, with broken English, 
with proper English against the COVID-19? Of course, it's my, it's my way of just saying, I mean, we are all in this together. I respect what he's saying here, but sometimes they are tight and they don't want to admit it to us. And when we don't know your pain, how do we solve it? Because the government of the day does not know their responsibility. I say it again, well, with all emphasis. <laughs> because if they don't know, this is an area they're supposed to put money into. This is an area they're supposed to finance. You know, and again, we don't have a choice in Nigeria because we are at work and we are going to have what they call an unemployment. If we do have that, gentlemen like Noah can say, well, you know, if you're not going to fund this problem for me, I resign. Mm -hmm. But when you resign, where are you going to go to? Are you going to take care of your children and your family? All right, so it's, 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 a, yeah. it's a cash too. Mm -hmm. I sympathize with every citizen of this country. Mm -hmm. I sympathize, even myself, I sympathize myself. We are not, we are not having to work. And, and go to Rwanda, just Rwanda that had their own genocide. Yeah, maybe it's because of the yeah. that you would have probably taken off. <laughs> I mean, no, it, it could have been that because I have all the choice to remain in Canada. You yeah, know that, you yeah, know. Yeah. But I love my country. I love this country. I am telling you, I love this country. We can do better. We can actually do better. All right. All right, gentlemen, uh, Austin, 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, I want to thank you for this platform. And I want to appeal to our uh, Nigerians to be patient, mm. uh, to just do the needful. Okay. Uh, let us obey this uh, stay at home and then do engage in our key household practices mm. that will ensure our safety because one, treat every other person as a victim. All right, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Austin Odinley, who is uh, the, the Deputy Director overseeing Office of uh, the State Director, Noah, uh, in the district. Hey, welcome one more time. And also Patrick Eholo, uh, ultimately called by, you know, by name, by, um, by nickname, so to say, now you're yeah. welcome. Always uh, exciting time with you. Well, we'll take a short pause now. Let's join Uyag Mungfugbe on the news update at 9.30. Please stay tuned.